Hi, in this video, we're going to look at a piece of mathematics. We're just going to take a quick look at the cosine graph, and I'm just going to show you how to just graph it freehand with no aids at all. Um, so you start by simply, I'll just write solution. You start by drawing the y-axis and the x-axis. The y-axis is the vertical one, and the x-axis is the horizontal one. And then usually if you're you know doing something with cosine, you want to give it a name, so let's call it f of x. So we'll set f of x equal to the cosine of x. And you should just memorize basically that it starts right here at one. Uh, and that's because if you plug in zero to your function f of x, you get the cosine of zero. And we know that the cosine of zero is one, right? So that's a value, you just memorize it. You can memorize it from here, or you can memorize it from the unit circle as well. This means that when x is equal to zero, y is equal to one. And so we have a point here. And then it comes down like this, and it crosses up pi over two, then it comes back up like this, and it just keeps doing the same thing. Same thing here, crosses at negative pi over two, comes back up, crosses up negative pi, and also at pi. This is one, and this is negative one. So that's really important, because remember that f of x is equal to cosine x. That's the same thing as y, right? So that means the y value is less than or equal to one, so the cosine of x is less than or equal to one. Likewise, the y value is greater than or equal to negative one, right? But y is cosine x. This is the y value, right? So basically, you want to just um, think of it as the y value. It's greater than or equal to negative one. So you can write this uh, as follows. Check it out. I'll do it over here in a different color. So let's put these two statements together and write it as a compound statement. So we're saying that the cosine of x is greater than or equal to negative one. So I'm going to write it like this. There's negative one. Then I'm going to read it backwards, right? So negative one less than or equal to cosine x. Boom, like that. And then cosine x is less than or equal to one. So this is just manipulation of inequalities, right? So very powerful stuff. And this is the absolute value of cosine x. And that's less than or equal to one. So that's useful information to know. Also the zeros, uh, you, you know, most of the time, um, yeah, I mean, the zeros are also important, but there's pi here. And there's infinitely many zeros, right? Infinitely many zeros. In fact, you could write all of the zeros down. Let me just show you really quick. So. These would be all the zeros of the cosine function, or all the x-intercepts would be uh, pi over 2 uh, plus k pi. And that would be it right there, pi over 2 uh, plus k pi, and where k here is an integer. So k is an integer. What does that mean? It means it's a member of the set. You know, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. So you have all the integers. You have negative 7, 25 whole numbers, you know, positive ones, negative ones, 0. Um, and k can be any of those. It's some integer. And that's how many you have, infinitely many. Pretty cool. Anyways, that's the cosine graph. Hopefully you've learned some information. Good luck.